So the third and final module that we're going to take a look at is the mannequin module. Some of you may have seen some information on this on the PTC website. Um, Mechanica Light will provide us with is a subset of uh, products which come with the mannequin module, which is a very large product in itself. Um, it gives you the ability to put a generic male form or mannequin into your assemblies and then use that to interact a little bit more detail in a moment or two um, are quite affordable. So we'll take a quick look at the product in action. So Mannequin Light or Mannequin enables pro engineer users to simulate human interaction with their products, developing products that conform to safety and workplace guidelines and are optimized for the way that people will use them. The PTC have developed innovative ways to address the simulation of human interaction with design with the release of this mannequin technology. The three main areas of mannequin product to cover, the first being the pro engineer standard mannequin technology that allows users to simulate how people interact with their products. You can choose a target segment from a wide range of populations such as American, European, Japanese, men, women, children, the elderly, that kind of thing. You can position these mannequins relative to your designs and then simulate how they interact with them. Things like distances, what the mannequin can touch, simulation of vision cones, um, what it's viewing, focus, all that kind of stuff can be, can be generated. All of these mannequin features are in the standard pro engineer environment which gives you the ability to combine your mannequin with existing functionality. So you can do things like measure, check for interference, clearance, and you can also replace one mannequin with another. This adds functionality to the core mannequin product. It allows users to simulate certain tasks and scenarios, such as what the mannequin can carry or lower, what they can push or pull. Once you've defined these scenarios, you can analyze them. You can use different populations with that analysis to see perhaps uh, what kind of person is capable of performing what task. You can find out how much force a person has to apply to move an object, that kind of thing. With all this, PTC have generated libraries of postures for the mannequin to assume, as well as accessories which can be downloaded or even contributed from the website. So it's the third and most important thing that with the release of Pro Engineer Wildfire 4 M060, so it's available now, every single customer has access to Mannequin Lite. So it provides all Pro Engineer users with access to some basic mannequin simulation capability. It allows you to embed a single type of mannequin to your assembly and perform some basic interaction with your design. Um, it's worth pointing out at this stage that you can't save the design once you put a Mannequin Lite mannequin into your assembly. So it's worth if you've got a session in progress, closing it down, opening a separate session, using your mannequin, and then closing that session because you won't be able to save once you've brought the mannequin in. Okay. What we're viewing on screen at the moment is the mannequin module using some of the analysis packages so we can see things like peripheral vision, binocular vision, and focus. You can make the mannequin look at a certain item can drag them and you see we're just using the standard drag tools to manipulate and adjust the mannequin and make it interact with our designs. You can make the mannequin, as I say, look at a particular object or reach for a particular object. You can also perform things like display reach envelopes of what the mannequin is capable of doing. The mannequin can't move in a way that a human can't move, so you can't break his arms or legs or his neck and move him into various positions. As the mannequin is a pro engineer model, in effect, you can apply things like animation to it. You can run little um, uh, mechanisms on each of the joints to, to animate the process. You can just see a few little screenshots here of these mannequins in action. So the main benefits of the mannequin are that it gives you an excellent way of visualizing the sometimes complicated interactions between humans and products. This may occasionally require you to create prototypes to establish or explore the, inter <coughs> the interactions with ProEngineer at the design stage. Hopefully this will help designers optimize their products in an easy and intuitive way. So 
So again, just a, a summary slide here, if you like, just showing us the breakdown of how this mannequin module is packaged. So at the bottom here, every user, pro engineer that's in maintenance, um, will have access to the mechan <coughs> sorry, the mannequin uh, light modules, which enables you to bring in a mannequin, position it in relation to your parts, look around, perhaps get some basic postures in there. On top of that, we have the man. Uh, excuse me, I'll just take a quick drink. On top of that, we have the mannequin module. So it's the mainstream desktop human modeling solution. Uh, and this includes the libraries that you can generate to have standard positions or, or hand gestures. And then finally, on top of that, we have the mannequin analysis. So that's high-end human factors and ergonomics analysis tools on there.